When examining civil plans, sometimes you'll be given an edge or closed boundary and an angle or ratio that defines a bank or batter. Let's go over how to best tackle these situations in Mudshark. To avoid confusion regarding the terminology we use, we classify banking as a slope that sits above the site surface, which needs to be filled to. Our batter is the opposite, a slope that sits below the site surface, which needs to be cut or excavated to. To start, let's create a simple bank off the side of a driveway structure. As you can see, the slab is sitting above the existing site and needs to be banked down to. In the appropriate site stage, create a new structure definition and name it Bank. If your bank needs to be capped or sealed, you can place those layers in the material section. I won't be needing it here, so I'll leave it empty. For Mudshark to trim this structure properly, we'll need to set the appropriate flags. Click on Advanced. Because I want to trim the structure against the proposed site, I'll select Top to Proposed. Top or bottom doesn't matter in this instance because I have no materials in my stack. For the Trim To setting, select Outside. What this means is that any parts of our structure that sit outside or above the site surface will be kept and the parts sitting inside or below the surface will be discarded. Now that we've set all our flags, click Create. With the structure selected, click on the Extrude Input tool from the drawing menu. Because we're banking down from a structure, we can hold Ctrl and Shift when placing our points to snap to and copy their altitudes. When you're happy with your line, press right click to finish. This will open a window where we can define the angle or ratio for the bank. For this example, let's just assume a ratio of 1 to 3. So for every 1 meter vertically, we go out 3 meters horizontally. You can change the direction of the input by using positive or negative numbers. Because we've given it two values, you can see Mudshark has calculated the angle in degrees. Additionally, if we adjust either the vertical or horizontal now, it will maintain that angle. Useful if you need to extend the bank out further for it to intersect the site surface. Initially, it might seem like a normal structure, but after calculating, you'll see the trim gets applied as intended. Creating a batter is essentially the same process. Create a new structure, giving it materials if necessary. In Advanced, select a trim option. And for batters, we use Trim 2 inside. Activate your structure, select Extrude Input, and create your origin line. Enter your batter ratio or angle. Then calculate and inspect your results. If you want a bank or batter surrounding the entire structure, you can use extrude selected and simply click on the desired boundary. This replaces the need of having to draw it manually.